Right now on the lineup asking for answers and saying goodbye. A Montgomery County family makes a public plea to bring their loved one justice after police say he was killed in an ambush attack. Trouble on the roof along with melting snow. Days of rain are coming. That means the clock is ticking to clear away snow before water issues could soak inside your homes. Detours coming next weekend. I-95 is, is going to close all northbound lanes for a day and a half. We have what you need to know and how to get around these traffic changes. Those stories and more on today's edition of The Lineup. It's Tuesday, January 23rd, 2024. The Lineup is brought to you by TD Bank, America's most convenient bank. Hey, everyone, I'm NBC10's Keith Jones. I'm NBC10's Aaron Coleman. Let's get you up to speed with what you need to know today, starting with the Montgomery County community. Remembering a man who was shot and killed during a robbery last night, William Carter's family held a vigil in Norristown to celebrate his life. Police say Carter was ambushed and robbed this weekend by four suspects, and they are still trying to find the people responsible. NBC10's Randy Gyllenhaal has more reaction from Carter's family. Well, the victim leaves behind a devastated family. They call his killing both cruel and senseless. While Norristown police, they are searching for four suspects who got away in a stolen car. He, was, he didn't even look like he put up a fight to anybody. He didn't deserve this. Family and friends of 35-year-old William Carter held a vigil last night on the street where he was killed. Surveillance video from Saturday shows the victim leaving his friend's house. Then three suspects jump out of an SUV in ambush. They surround him, robbing, and then shooting the victim dead. A fourth suspect was the getaway driver in the stolen RAV4. That vehicle was later set on fire and ditched as police found it nearby. Authorities have offered a $5,000 reward in this case. At this point, the best clue is that surveillance video. However, the suspects are all wearing masks. In Norristown, Randy Gyllenhaal, NBC10 News. Randy, thanks. New this morning, students in the Chester County School District will soon be able to sleep in. Last night, the Owen J. Roberts School Board approved a plan to roll back the start of classes to give students more time to sleep. According to the new plan... Classes across the district will start about a half hour later than they do now. That means for high school and middle school students, classes run from 8 a.m. until 2.45 p.m. For elementary school students, their day will start at 8.50 a.m. and end at 3.30 p.m. The district superintendent says research shows that students need more sleep, especially as they become teenagers. The controversial plan has been discussed on and off in the district for several years. The new hours begin next school year. Here's the video from last week's snowfall. Watches a tractor trailer jackknifes and slides out of control. It happened last Friday in central PA. Surveillance video shows the truck sliding down a hill with the tractor trailer knocking down several poles. Stopped just before hitting a building. I mean, what a close call. Mm -hmm. Luckily, nobody hurt here, which is amazing. Uh, temperatures are finally warming above freezing, but days of rain are also in the forecast this week. So now is the time to make sure your roof is clear of snow and ice. The expected drastic temperature change over the next few days means roofers are now working overtime. Their phones, they're ringing nonstop about fixing leaks and preventing what could become major water damage. Anyone that has issues with their roof that were small or weren't really causing any problems. Now with the snow and ice uh, thawing out, that's getting into the cracks. It's freezing at night and it's ripping things apart. As you see, all the drains are completely frozen solid. If you have concerns about water damage, remember, take pictures of whatever you have and contact your insurance mm. company. Now to a traffic alert for anyone who travels on I-95 through Philly. PennDOT wants to warn you about a major disruption, and it's coming very soon, starting next Saturday night. In fact, the northbound lanes, they're going to close for 36 hours from Columbus Boulevard to 676 West. That's exits 20 through 22. It's part of construction already underway to build a cap over part of I-95. PennDOT says closing the northbound lanes now will help speed up the project to uh, make road work safer for workers and drivers. Yeah, as of today on Monday, we're starting to light up message boards across the area to get the word out that there's going to be a closure here on 95. PennDOT says now is the time to start planning for detours. We've got a full list of ways around this closure on NBC10.com or the free NBC10 app. Police in Mercer County say their drone helped find a missing child, and they've got the video to prove it. Robbinsville Township Police released this footage showing how it happened. Police say they got a call for a missing child who was last seen running into the woods. Look at that. 
They launched their drone, which was Amazing. able to find the child through thermal imaging. And it only took 10 minutes to do it. Then you could see a police officer and a canine from another department were able to move in and safely rescue mm. that child. Incredible. Yeah, right? Philly sports fans have their sights set on baseball about two months away from the Phillies kicking off the new season at Citizens Bank Park. we got 65 days and counting. Mm -hmm. The Phillies had an incredible run last season, and we're all hoping the team can take it all the way this time around to win the World Series. Yeah, you'll soon be able to secure your seats to watch the Phillies in action at Citizens Bank Park. Single-game tickets for games at the ballpark to go on sale this Thursday, 10 a.m. Mark your calendars. Here's a few of the games uh, on their schedule that are already pretty popular, we suspect. Uh, the home opener on March 28th is against their NL East division rival, the Atlanta Braves. May 21st to the 23rd, the Phils will welcome the world champion Texas Rangers to the bank. Then in June, the Arizona Diamondbacks return to the ballpark for a National League championship rematch. That Friday game is also Cole Hamill's retirement night. So everyone who attends will get a 2009 National League champions replica ring. There you go. Before we know it, it's going to be here. The Paris Olympics are fast approaching. Now we are seeing the uniforms for Team France. Yeah, let's take a look. A dozen French Olympic athletes took to the catwalk during a Paris Fashion Week to parade their uh, Stephanie Ashpool designed kit. It includes the Athlete Village uniform featuring a 90s vibe as well as the uh, training and competition outfits. The Summer Olympics of Paris begin July 26th. That's 186 days away. Of course, you can see all the action right here on NBC10 and on the NBC Family Network. Could Punxsutawney Phil be headed for retirement? There's an mm. offer on the table to replace him. We're back in 30 seconds. Here we go. Here I go again. Introducing the all-new TD Clear credit card with no late fees and no interest, just a simple monthly fee. That's predictability, even when expenses aren't. Four dollars? That's bananas. It's a pair. Oh, man. The all-new TD Clear credit card. That's how credit can be unexpectedly human. Call 1-844-TD-CLEAR for details about credit costs and terms. All right, welcome back. Uh, former Phillies manager and Chicago Cubs legend Ryan Sandberg has metastatic prostate cancer. He revealed the news on Instagram yesterday and said he was diagnosed just last week, has already begun treatment. Sandberg says he feels uh, strong and positive and plans to beat the disease. He's a baseball Hall of Famer, spent 15 years with the Cubs after the Phillies traded, uh, drafted and traded him. He's also managed the Phillies for parts of three seasons. A tradition that has been around since the 1800s is next Friday. Of course, we are talking about... Groundhog Day. Yeah, but once again, PETA is pushing to change the holiday, ultimately replace the furry forecaster with a gold coin so Phil can live out his golden years in a sanctuary. The animal organization sent letters to Phil's handlers yesterday, noting that over the years, his weather predictions are as reliable as a coin toss. They say groundhogs are shy creatures that need space to burrow, explore, and hibernate. They say the spotlight and attention aren't things Phil needs. PETA sent similar letters calling for Phil's retirement over the years. So far, the Punxsutawney Groundhog Club's president has not responded. So, what do you think? I have always imagined that Phil has a really great life. Yeah, yeah. In fact, we, we learned uh, during the show earlier today that Phil basically lives in an apartment, uh, air-conditioned, <laughs> right, in a borough, right near, he's surrounded by knowledge at the library in Punxsutawney. Right, I mean, like, the, what other groundhogs live in like His this? His little hole is is probably <laughs> so decked out, like right. so cush. Yeah, everyone leading up to the day, everyone celebrates him. They go to the library and go, oh, "I'm going to check out a book," and I'm going to see the groundhog. And oh my god, he's probably got plenty of snacks. Yeah, snacks galore. I'm sure. So it's probably a thing. You go there, you you give them a little. What what do groundhogs eat? They eat uh, plants. They they eat our gardens. Is what they do. Do you? I don't know. I think so. I think they eat veg, uh, oh, vegetarian god. stuff. Right. Talk about going down the rabbit hole. Uh, the groundhog hole. The groundhog hole. Yeah. That's, mm. that's how I would have sold that. Okay, let's hey, move on. Philadelphia ranks high <laughs> on the list of the worst cities for bed bugs again. Yes, again. It held on to the number three spot on Orkin's top 50 bed bug cities list. Chicago was number one, followed by New York. Orkin based the list on where it performed the most bed bug treatments between December 2022 and last November. That included both homes and commercial properties. Here, all right, here's a question for you. Did you get a good night's sleep? Because it could depend on which state you live in. Yeah, a new survey by one poll asked people about the uh, quality of their sleep and how much shut-eye they get each night. People in California got the best sleep. In our area, New Jersey ranked the highest, tied for fourth. 
PA came in at number seven, Delaware tied for 26. The survey found watching TV or scrolling through your phone before bedtime had the biggest impact on sleep. California's did that the least compared to people in other states. And then there's this story, a Delaware couple it's about to celebrate a special milestone. Later this month, they're going to mark 70 years of marriage. Dolores Amazing. and Bill Rybaltowski met as teenagers outside of a movie theater in Wilmington. They were married while Bill was in the Navy. Well, 70 years, four kids, six grands, four great grands later, Dolores is now 90, Bill's 92. With a love story, seven decades in the making, we just had to know their secrets to a long, happy marriage. We can talk to one another and give our opinions and not get angry with one another. I yeah. kiss her every morning when every I get up, morning. every single morning. Mm -hmm. I don't miss a morning. Mm -hmm. I've done that for 70 years. Oh, my gosh. Later this month, uh, the happy couple will have a special mass at Hedwig's Church in Wilmington, where their marriage began 70 wow. years ago. How special is it's that? It's incredible. And I think the family they created, too, from that bond They're 70 be years there. ago. Yeah. It's unreal. Uh, yeah. Absolutely incredible. And, and God bless them. You know, it, the simple advice they give, too, you communicate and you show affection, basically, right? Yeah. And yeah. that'll do it. Yeah. Wow. All right. How about that? I was, I was, nobody said like red wine, drink no, red wine a day. Drink or root beer, a hot yeah, dog a day. Exa you know, like exactly, yeah. no, they were like, you know what? I kiss my wife every day. Right. We, we communicate really well. Very, very smart. That does it for today's edition of The Lineup. For Aaron Coleman, I'm Keith Jones. You can get NBC 10 News updates right here on the NBC 10 app. We catch us weekday mornings from 4 to 7 a.m. Have a great day. See you guys.